Cane Hill vlog. We've um we've watched back the Cane Hill vlog edit. Um, and, and we kind of realised we didn't sort of explain. Well, two two things. Firstly, I'm not very happy with it. Um, like I wanted to show like the relentlessness of lock after lock after lock after lock after lock, but didn't want to just do like a time lapse. I wanted to make it a bit interesting. So there's clips of us talking, mainly Michael, but then when Michael's in the lock doing a little clip, being entertaining, there's so much noise from the water coming around him that it's hard to hear him and it's like quite distracting. So mm. the vlog doesn't kind of flow very well. So I'm not very happy with it, but I'm going to upload it anyway because, because I am. <laughs> yeah. And then the battery ran out on the GoPro on the last six locks, so they're not in it. So I was upset about that. Yeah. But then the other thing, like, like for, for people who know what Cane Hill, the Cane Hill flight is, it'll make sense. But in the vlog, we don't really uh, uh, explain what it, what is. it is. Yeah. So we've realised that we need to do this little blurb in which we say, <laughs> the Cane Hill flight. Um, so basically it's 29 locks going down, which we were from devices, there's six locks, which have normal kind of long pounds in them. Then there's not, uh, 16 locks, one after the other, with these kind of specially designed side pounds. And it's you literally go from, I think then about eight foot each lock. Eight foot six inches. Each of the locks is exactly the same size. And Basically the, exactly the same design. And it's in a totally straight line. And they're the same distance apart. Yeah, so. And you're dropping like 75 feet, I think, total. We should have checked this. Yeah, we should look that up. <laughs> Um, and then when you've done the 16, there's seven more locks with conventional pounds. Yeah. And you can you can more between the you can obviously more between the first six and the last seven, but the the Cane Hill flight itself, the 16 locks, you can't more between. And it's it's incredible to look at. It's incredible incredible to do. But we didn't get a very good shot of the whole flight either. So. No, it's, and this is problem of you you'd really need to have like a drone or yeah, something you, to sort of show it. If you haven't seen it before, Google like drone footage of Cane, Cane Hill and it. Yeah, because that's the thing with the, the Cane Hill flight. It's like, it, it is this actually really interesting piece of, of kind of mid-Victorian engineering. Like it's- But like most canals, most other canals are like contours. They'll like follow the, yeah. follow the land at the same level, but- But this one couldn't. Like straight And through. there's been other attempts like the, like the, um, the coal canal that we passed uh, yesterday, um, which is, is sort of a derelict little section, used to actually have a um, uh, like an inclined plane system where they would would pull things up it. Oh, and yeah. there's a few others around here that that have had to solve this problem of like they have a piece of land they can't get a, rhin a right of way that goes around the problem, so they have to either go through it with a tunnel or they have to go up it. And there was all sorts of other attempts and then they finally came up with sort of the staircase mm -hmm. lock. And the and the Cane Hill flight is like one of the best examples around. It's really quite a fascinating bit of architecture and and kind of applied engineering. And I think it's like it's like two and a half miles or something that the whole twenty nine is. Yeah, in. the whole twenty nine. And the and the Cane Hill flight is in this like one short section, like at the stop of it. The, the volunteer was like, see that white building down there? Yeah, yeah. I'm like, yeah, that's not very far away. He's like, that's the bottom. That's, yeah, 16 locks away. Like, we're not traveling very far, but we're traveling in a straight line and we're descending really fast. We got to this, the bottom of the first six, like a bit tired, a bit, a bit, yeah. like a bit daunted. And then this man in his blue t-shirt appears and was like, are you going all the way down? We'll help you. So we Oh, had, thank God. <laughs> so literally as we came out of one lock, they had the next lock open and ready for us, and it was just I like we I have to look up how like from the the clips if I can work out how long it took us. It was a little less than I think it was like two and a half hours. We flew down. So I hope you like the vlog. I haven't sold it very well. It's a beautiful morning in Devizes, and we are about to set off for Cane Hill. But first, we're going to go and get some breakfast. Yes, there's some lovely bakeries here, so we're going to go get something from the bakery. And then we're gonna come back, get on the boat, and do 29 looks. Hopefully, meet someone else who's going up. No one's gone up yet, and um, we were hoping the boat behind us was going, but they're going tomorrow. They're, they're turning around, actually. Oh, are they? Yeah, it's the end of the holiday today. Um, yeah, so we will have a lovely time. Um, will we? Beating the hell out of ourselves on 29 locks.
Really, Michael wants to say hello. It's not for the dog, it's so that he, so that he can say hello. Cheese and spinach, cheese and onion, and two ice buns. You've got one too? Yeah. So we've got to the first lock and we thought there was a boat coming but it seems to have stopped at the water point so Michael's just walking to see if they are coming down. Um, the lock's set now and we're ready to go through. Like third lock of the day, and this is how loud it is inside of a lock. It's pretty loud. Can't hear a thing. Can't hear myself. Yeah, so we're at lock 47. Four. Yeah, which is our fourth of the day, just waiting for it to fail. Yeah. George is inside the boat. He went in He's quite happily. He's not happy about sitting inside the boat, for sure. But uh, thank goodness it's a lovely day. Yeah. Not a cloud in the sky. Those. <laughs> Over there. So we've done six locks this morning and that lock is the very first one of the Cane Hill flight and we haven't dared look over to see how far we've got to go. Is it 16 or 19 locks? We're still ignorant, we're just just seeing what's going to happen. Uh, a volunteer lock keeper is working and he said he'd help us all the way down so that is really really good news. And we're just waiting for this wide beam, wide beam to come up so at least the first lock is going to be set in our favour. And this is lock number 42, third one on the Cane Hill flight. 41, the fourth on the Cane Hill flight. Lock 40, fifth on the flight. And you can tell it's underneath an acorn tree because a squirrel just dropped one on my head. Nice squirrel. Really nice squirrel. Thank you. <laughs> You'll be in one now. <laughs> this is uh, lock 37, the eighth lock on the... <sighs> Extremely beautiful, but oh my god, daunting. Um, can't help it. So it's lock 36, the ninth one. Three, five. Uh, 10th one coming down the lock. Going good. I'm getting tired. No more squirrels. 34. 11th lock. Lock number 33. The 12th of the Cane Hill flight. Beautiful clouds. Lock number 33. Lock 32. 
Fox 30, 350th of the Can't Help Fight. Jojo's arms are turned to jelly apparently. We keep getting overflown by military helicopters. <sighs> Fox 29. Last lock, Can't Help Fight. Those are the lovely lockers that help us down. Thanks guys. Tired. Cane Hill. Done. Done. Thank goodness for the volunteers. They only yeah, did I don't know how we would have done it without them. We'd still be at like lock three. <laughs> they only work um, three days a week, so we lucked out. And when we return, we will be on one of those three days a week. Yeah. I don't know which day that is, but we'll make we'll, sure we're we'll here. We'll sit one. here until the volunteer turns One of those up. three days will happen. <laughs> okay, lunch. Yes, lunch then. Here's Cane Hill behind us, and we've got this one, then six more locks to do. And then hopefully we'll find a mooring and then we'll sleep. It's 3 pm, 29 locks, desperate for a mooring. No moorings. Moorings. Cane Hill. Done. Done. My arm really hurts, so okay. don't talk for too long. No, talk for too long. I don't even know what we're talking about. We're waiting at the top of the Cane Hill flight beside Cyclops boat. I don't think that's his actual name, but it looks like a Cyclops crane. And uh, yeah, just got hit in the head with a rope, so um, yeah, having fun. They would keep getting overflown by military helicopters, but at least this one seems to have waved to me. Um, no idea what's going on. Probably not an invasion. Anyway, almost done. I'm finished. Come over to the side here. Somewhere. Yeah, there we go. I don't think they'll be able to hear us. I think it's too noisy. It's loud. And your head is really big compared to mine. We're too tired to film anyway. I don't know. I have no idea what we're talking about. I don't know. We won't buy a drone. <laughs> no, we won't. We're not buying a drone. We're not trying a drone. We're not drawing a drone. We're not driving a drone. We're not buying a drone. <laughs> um, Hang yeah. glider. But the cool thing about it all is we survived. <laughs> and, um, and we did two high fives. Yeah, let's do it. Cane Hill. Cane Hill.